Right, this is a short video showing you how to download Formata Auto. This is ideal for CarPlay. It allows you to go onto a browser, also allows you to use YouTube and M3U playlist sources like IPTV sources. First of all, we need to go onto Google and type in A A A D, then search that. Then as you can see the top one there, click on that one. Then if you go up, carry on going up, you can read some of that if you want. As it says, you don't need a PC, don't need any developer options. So what you need to do is carry on going down, go down to all downloads. So the initial app we need first is AAAD. Then what you need to do is click on that on there where it says AAD 141, sorry, 14.143. That's the one, yep. Yeah. And click on that. Then that says open. And that says install. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to reinstall it. This is just for yourselves. So what you'll do is install it. It'll prompt you yes or no and stuff. So you just say okay, okay. Once you've installed it, it'll be on your screen like this. That's when you've opened it. So out of all these apps, you just want to download Fermata Auto. As you can see at the bottom, I've, as I've already downloaded it, it allows you one download every 28 days or so. Unless you've paid for the app, which allows you more than one. So the next thing we need to do is click onto Fermata Auto, which is the second one. And as you can see, I've already done it and it's not allowing me to do anything more. So once you've got that downloaded and accepted everything, you're good to go. And you can see it there. And then I'll click on it. And that's how it'll open up on your car stereo when you're on CarPlay. And then at the bottom you've got like taskbars. The one with the box with the arrow is YouTube. As you can see, and that's how it will be on your car. Then you've got there, you've got TV. And on your TV, you can go into settings here and you can add an M3U source, which is an IPTV source. So if you wanted to something like Sky TV or whatever and stuff like that. Then if you go back, then click there again, and then there is your web browser, and there you can see you got Google. If you click on something there, and that's how it'll be on your car stereo. So just make sure your lead's connected as well from your device, like your i uh, sorry your Android phone or Android tablet and that's it thanks for watching